Megan said if the identity of the person who made that comment about Archie's skin color was, it would be very detrimental to them. And now a new book claims King Charles himself was the one who commented on the unborn Archie's skin color. Interesting now when she said she was, then the queen and then someone else. I don't think anyone said anything. This is just another of Meghan's plans. She entered the royal family with very dirty hands. She had an agenda, and she wasn't going to stop until she became queen, and it will never happen before. Meghan told so many lies in this interview. She tricked everyone into thinking the question was asked while she was pregnant with Archie. Now. I in fact, the comment should have been made, assuming it was made before they were even married. Maybe it was something as simple as I wonder how your kids are going to be like a less sensitive one. You know, maybe your kids are black, right? Perhaps they were adding it to the list of many reasons why Harry might want to reconsider marrying Meghan. From what I understand, no one in the family wanted Harry to marry Meghan, and it had nothing to do with the color of his skin dot, but rather because she was American, and had no idea what would be expected of her as the wife of a prince. In the male line of succession, they foresaw that it could lead to so many problems that would eventually cause the marriage to fail, then all of a sudden. Earlier this year, Harry came out and said no one made racist comments and neither he nor Meghan even said or implied they did, and it was all made up by the media. Maybe someone should let Harry know that I. You must have a very fond memory since British English came out, and since Harry did all these interviews, I'm convinced that it was Harry who made comments about the skin color of his future children. Harry has previously said that his marriage to Meghan would mean his children would inherit his darker features, meaning they wouldn't be red like him. But later, of course, he said the boys were actually red. Bad things have been said about Camilla, Diana and Catherine. Because Meghan and Harry thought he was so special that he got out of control. I don't understand. Meghan couldn't stand the scrutiny even though she was too weak, and now Meghan Markle's name is in the saw and things are only going to get worse for Meghan, as it looks like she is completely baffled. He's so deep underground that he doesn't even know which side he's on. Meghan dragged Harry's name with her and sadly he too got lost in the saw with Meghan Markle's comment, where she really said there are so many biracial families who made similar comments, because people are also curious non-biracial families. Do you think she will have her father's hair? Do you think he will have his mother's nose? Will she have her grandmother's blue eyes? Or will he have his grandfather's brown eyes? That's okay, except of course these scammers want to make it all negative, because it'll earn them money and some PR attention. The comment was only for Harry even before they were married, when Archie was just a twinkle in someone's eye. It was probably just an innocent guess. Many people from mixed-race families have confirmed that wondering who the kids will take after is as common as wondering about the texture of the eyes, nose, legs, and hair. All that, and remember that Meghan has changed her skin color since she arrived now. It was white at first and now it looks brown. It adds so much bronzer to her skin and it does. We can all see what color each is. You don't have to label it all the time. I don't see anything wrong with wondering what color the child's skin would be. Anyone would do that, it's a very normal thing, just like parents with different colored hair will wonder what color the child's skin will be. Kid there's nothing racist about it and the people who see racism in the commons are the people who see prejudice everywhere they look when there isn't any, probably because they're secretly racist themselves. So it's always on their minds, clearly someone would ask, but they just won't tell. Why is everyone so afraid to see things as they really are? I don't think mere curiosity is racist. Instead, it suggests to me that the people who oppose it are actually dealing with some racism in themselves and are just too scared to admit it. Let's give some honesty and transparency to change. Now, Brown is a color, not a criticism. People spend so much time almost naked in the sun trying to get a nice tan. So if it's brown, how do you explain all these people? 
Besides, I don't think it will harm Charles in the least. Charles didn't allow a perfect life of course, but he still led a pretty good one. And what this avowed liar says will do nothing to affect her position in any way, shape or defeat Meghan's sabotage attempt, it will blow up in her face for real, and she will end up being ostracized by the family. Just for proving it. Meghan has an inflated sense of self. He thinks he's so important, but he's not. Meghan ruined her own life and her attempts to ruin the lives of others. Whoever tries to blame Meghan, it won't hurt. After all, she heard Harry's supposed skin color story and their stories never matched. Even in this Oprah interview, the stories didn't match. Harry may have misunderstood. Looks like he misunderstands things or maybe he was just trying to mix things up. He is even known to have done it. But it is not true that people are fed up with this story and no one cares anymore if they ever did it. I'd probably have a little more respect for Meghan if she showed us non-photoshop photos of their alleged children. Everything, says Meghan, is a big lie and no one will believe King Charles said anything negative about race. Well, at least I don't care, and I don't care what Meghan has to say on the subject. The reality is that we have no idea if and when it was said, and by whom, and in what context. There are so many mixed-race couples who said it came up in natural discussions with their own family when they were pregnant and people didn't say it to be mean or to act ugly or racist. Instead, he was just saying things like I wonder who the boy will look like. It's a very normal thing for people to talk when someone in the family is pregnant, even in families that aren't mixed race. I remember before my nephew was born. We talked about it a lot with my sister, now her husband isn't even native, and Meghan tried to say that's why the kid wasn't offered a title when he was actually offered the Earl of Dumbarton. But Meghan didn't want it because there was stupid in the title. William's children were given the titles of prince and princess from birth, but it wasn't normal it was the exception instead of the rule, there were no other great-grandchildren who had titled at birth, that's how it normally is. It's just that the late queen had such a long reign that this time it happened and since Charles became king the grandchildren are entitled to the titles of prince and princess, which Harry and Meghan reclaimed as soon as possible. They also said that the skin color issue was the real reason they wouldn't trust, despite the fact that so many of the family members do not receive 24-7 guarantees, they only enjoy security when performing official royal duties and the rest of the family, as usual, has just kept their dignified silence. On this subject, it's not really something they can control, it's up to the home office to decide and the police to decide and it's based on certain risk factors. So unless the mysterious person who said it admits he said it, and in what context, which probably won't happen at this point, I won't believe it happened or, if it does I don't believe it happened in the way they said it happened and we already know it had nothing to do with securities and security, or lack thereof. So I don't think it will have any more negative effect on the king than it already has. People who believe this story will shake their heads and say, yes, I knew that, and people who don't believe it will continue to disbelieve it. Dot, and you agree with me? If so, don't be afraid to like and share this video with anyone else who needs it. And if not, tell me the reason and we can talk about this couple as well and don't forget to subscribe to our royal family news so you don't miss any new videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching good night and